Hello all, I am Sai and you are watching the book dragon. In today's video, I am bringing to you my answers for the questions in the reread book tag. There are totally 8 questions in this tag, all of which I have dropped down in the description. I have also linked the blog post from which I found this tag below. Don't forget to go and check it out. So without any further ado, let's get into the questions right away. Question number 1. A childhood favorite that you could read 100 times and still love. For this, I am obviously and definitely going with the Harry Potter series by JK Rowling. There are multiple problems with the author right now, but I can say that anyone who's read Harry Potter will not hesitate to reread it because I'm sure that it is something which is totally rooted in some other different reality. And every time I start reading Harry Potter during any part of my life, I felt like I just get into that wizarding world and this real world just disappears. Okay, it is something which is very easily submersible into and uh, I'm sure that anytime when I read this, even in the future also, I'll not get bored at all because there is something about this world that she has created which is very magical and very compelling for us to just stay in there and uh, enjoy completely. So this is definitely one of my childhood favorites which I'll never get bored of even if I read it like a hundred times. Question number two. A book that you DNF'd but would be willing to give a second chance to. For this, I'm selecting Black Leopard Red Wolf by Marlon James. This is the first book in the Dark Star trilogy, which is an adult epic fantasy series based on African culture. I've actually tried reading this two times and both times I've DNF'd it because it was very tough for me to get through. The writing style of the author itself is very peculiar and so deep. Okay, he has this very weird way of writing, I can say, because it was difficult for me to comprehend each and every line that he has written and it was totally confusing, okay? But even though I've DNF'd it two times, I definitely want to read this because I can sense that this has a lot of potential and a lot of depth rather than anything else. So that's one of the main reasons why I want to read this. That must be something for a book to have such that I've DNF'd it two times, yet I want to try and read it for the third time, right? So I'm sure that I will be reading this at some point, but I don't know when. So yeah, this is a book which I'd uh, love to give a third chance to actually. Question number three, a newer favorite you would reread. And for this, I'm going with The 40 Rules of Love by Elif Shafak. I can say that this was also one of the books which I've read this year. That was very slow for me as a person while I was reading because this had a lot of depth to it again and each and every philosophical thing that the author has written through the verses of Rumi was something that was so mystical to read. I'm sure that I've not got the 100% out of this book from my first read so I'll definitely want to reread it sometime in the future and also I want to reread it slowly again because it has a lot of things put into it. While I'm reading this, I'll be annotating it heavily because there's like a ton of quotes in this one which can be used during multiple instances of our life in order to just get through it because there are horrible things and very beautiful things happening at the same time in this one. This is definitely not a book that is filled with wonders but seeing the good things even in between disasters, it was a book like that. So, so I'm definitely sure that I'm going to reread this sometime in the future but again, I don't know when. Question number four, a book that you hated and never want to read again. For this, I'm going with a very famous book and it is also an award-winning book, which is The Sellout by Paul Biddy. This is the Man Booker Prize winner of 2016. That's one of the main reasons why I actually picked it up and read. And it is also literary fiction, which is a genre that is kind of a hit or miss for me. While I read this for the first time in February 2020, I think, I just completely hated the experience of reading this book, okay? I just wanted to get to the end because I wanted to know what is going to happen towards the climax. But the writing of the author was something which I just felt so disorienting continuously while reading the book because the author uses a lot of cuss words and sparring continuously throughout the book, okay? That is something which just pissed me off completely. I can understand that it is necessary for the plot of the book and the way in which the author is narrating the story but it just felt so uncomfortable for me and it just felt like a very unpleasant language. I'm okay with reading unpleasant language but there's a limit for everything right? This was like way off charts for me so I definitely hated this one while I read this and I'm sure that if I read it sometime in the future also I'll not that much gel with it and like it as well so this is definitely a book which I hate and definitely don't want to reread. Question number five. A classic you read in school but want to try again. For this, I actually have two classics which I tried in school but I read them as abridged versions. The first one is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley and the second one is David Copperfield by Charles Dickens. The versions that I read were just like 200-300 pages long and they were illustrated as well. I read them in like 6th or 7th grade, I don't remember when. But I can say that I totally enjoyed both of those stories because the dark element of Frankenstein just engrossed me completely because it was something which I have not at all read before during that time. And when it came to David Copperfield, it was totally tied in with reality. And uh, that just gave a sense of connect for me while I was reading the book. Those were definitely 
two books which I enjoyed reading as classics while I was in school in abridged versions. So I definitely want to try and read them as unabridged versions sometime in the future. David Copperfield is actually in my classics TBR for 2021, but I'm sure that I'm not going to read it. But Frankenstein, I'm sure that I will read before David Copperfield because I know that it is easier to get through compared to David Copperfield. And yeah, I definitely want to try and reread these two and I want to read them as unabridged versions. Question number six, an author you reread anything from? The author which I reread anything from is Lee Bardugo. Okay, I'm, sh I'm sure that any Lee Bardugo book that I've reread until now has something which is very different from the time that I've read it for the first time. I'm planning to read Six of Crows, Crooked Kingdom as well as King of Scars this year itself before getting to Rule of Fools in order to just refresh the story in my mind. So I think I will experience this sooner than later. And also she has this very beautiful writing style which she has perfected through her uh, various revisions. I'm sure that anything can lack in Lee Bardugo's books except her writing because she has this really wonderful sense of uh, constructing the prose such that it looks beautiful and also makes perfect sense without boring the reader. Even if I don't enjoy the characters or the plots when it comes to any of Lee Bardugo's books, I'll just reread them for the prose alone because each and every time I read different stanzas from any of her books, they just provide a lot more richness for the entire book as a whole. So she's definitely one author who might always not hesitate to reread from. Question number seven, a series you want to reread for the fun of it. For this, I'm going to select a very huge series and it is the Shadowhunter Chronicles by Cassandra Clare. Okay, I recently finished the Shadowhunter Chronicles in August and I can say that ever since I finished the last book in the series that is out so far, I've been on a huge book hangover to just get into that series completely. I'm sure I will read that completely sometime in the future once all the books are out and the series just wrapped up as a whole. I want to read them in the exact chronological order including the short stories as well. No doubt it will be a very tedious and uh, time consuming task but I want to do it. I think it will even take more than a year to read them in that order properly along with all the other things that I want to read. I don't know how it will be in the future, how much time I'll have that I can dedicate for reading but that's definitely a future plan for me when it comes to reading as a whole and that's totally a series I'll just read for the fun of it because I love all those characters. Even if I don't like the plots of some of the Shadowhunter series, I'm sure that I've loved the characters in each and every one of those series and I'll definitely read that series just for the fun of it. The last and final question, question number eight. A book that you've read but want to listen to the audiobook of. For this, I'm going for the Six of Crows duology by Lee Bardugo again because I've read both of them as physical books and I definitely want to hear the voices of the crows that are narrated by narrators. There's this particular narrator who narrates all the Grishaverse books named Lauren Fortyang. I've actually listened to the samples of all the books on Audible and they are also available only in Audible because they are Audible originals. I don't know when I'll be getting to them and when I'll have the time to listen to them on audio alone because they are huge books they'll definitely take a lot of time for me to listen. I want to because I want to hear the different voices for all the six crows put together. It will be a surreal experience I'm sure about that because I love all the six crows. I'm sure anyone who has read six of crows loves all these six crows. So that's definitely a series or duology which I want to listen to on audio even though I've read it physically. So yes guys, those are all my answers and don't forget to leave your answers in the comments below because I'd like to know them. And if you did enjoy watching today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share it to your friends. If you want to get more content from me, do subscribe to the channel because I publish new videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.